how Rihanna's $4 billion business is changing cosmetics. The beauty business has been a colossal sum of money over the past century, trying to define what it means to be beautiful. And for those who fall short, there's always a little bit of optimism in a glass jar. People's emotions and often their anxieties are being used by the copywriters. It's amazing how much dirt and filth your skin accumulates on a daily basis. A healthy skin is one that is clean. You come to terms with the fact that you won't be 21 forever. But of course, you always want to seem your best. Consumers nowadays, on the other hand, reject unrealistic and limiting conceptions of beauty. That position entails a comparable expectation of the product. Rihanna's Fenty Beauty is changing the beauty and fashion sectors with products and advertising that focus on the needs of consumers that have been overlooked by huge international corporations. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing how Rihanna's $4 billion business is changing cosmetics. Yes, you heard it right, so let's start our video. A growing number of brands are beginning to realize that they must participate in the inclusive beauty event or risk being left out. Can the beauty business, however, go beyond a single campaign to become a meaningful advocate for body acceptance and inclusion? Some of the world's largest cosmetic firms are based in the United States, many of which have dominated the business for almost a century. In the past, they have been able to operate with relative impunity since their sole rivalry has been each other. A lack of focus was placed on new, potentially dangerous business. In recent years, smaller companies have been steadily eroding their share of the market. Fenty Beauty is Rihanna's best-known product. Since Rihanna developed the company Fenty with the help of her longtime friend Robin Fenty, we may assume that she has a deep understanding of an infinity for the black community and the younger generation. Rihanna and the empire she's established are on everyone's list of topics for their college research papers. Fenty, which debuted in September of last year, allegedly sold $100 million worth of merchandise in only 40 days after its release. Currently, the Fenty nameplate is worth an estimated $4 billion in today's dollars. As far as the cosmetics industry is concerned, the debut of Fenty in 2014 was a game changer in so many ways. People were overjoyed when she began to work on a project force. Her race led us to believe that she would develop art that would be popular with a broad demographic. That's what she did. Success for Fenty Beauty is built on products that are developed for the most underrepresented groups and commercials that reflect their realities. Fenty isn't the first business to make goods just for women of color, of course. However, it happened at a period when people's ideas about what constitutes attractiveness were shifting. Aside than merely meeting the needs of these century-old companies, Fenty sent a clear message to them. Unless you change, your competition will overtake you. Moreover, However, in the era of Photoshop, the idea of beauty had become not just very limiting, but downright implausible. Emotional appeal continued until 2004, when Dove launched its Genuine Beauty campaign and received a lot of attention for a new form of appeal to women. Be a part of Dove's, the world's biggest live ad campaign for real women created by women, just like you and me. In my opinion, the Real Beauty campaign was the first to include a bit more politics in this sort of depiction. This was a kind of body positive in the sense that it accepted a broader range of forms, not just the incredibly slim, white, feminine bodies that tend to dominate the advertising for beauty products aimed at women. But at the same time, it's corporate. Minted Cosmetics was formed in January 2017 with the purpose of making cosmetics accessible to individuals of all skin tones. And here is KJ Miller, one of the company's co-founders and CEOs. It was because we couldn't locate a new lipstick that we decided to start with it. For this reason, after seeing tutorials on creating your own lipstick online, we got all the things we needed and began producing our own lipsticks at home. There have also been several independent cosmetic firms like Hyperskin, Beautystat, and Bevel to address this gap in the industry during the last five years. Fenty Beauty also debuted within a few months after Minted. In the beginning, Fenty only had 40 hues. Fenty Cosmetics now offers a foundation in a whopping 50 different hues. Customers from all walks of life are being catered to in this way. It was amazing amazing to see that potential and see all the advertising that they put out with so many women, dark-skinned women, wearing cosmetics that work for them. With Fenty, the most disadvantaged individuals in society are still at the core of a massively popular brand. We can also see this in Fenty Savage Lingerie. Larger bodies and persons of color are placed as the center of attention. Because they focus on underrepresented groups in their advertising, Fenty and firms like Minted's Goods may be enjoyed by anybody. 
That's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section, how was today's video? I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more and provide us with your valuable feedback. See you in the next video with some more amazing celebrity facts and stories. And until then, stay tuned.